Um, listen, Ivory, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have come here. And besides, there are other ways to apologize. Like, paying the medical bill. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Let go! You're going to hurt Don't him be again! An idiot! Let me go! What Let do you think go. you're doing, huh? Sir, he broke his wrist, right? Then break mine! Break both if you want to! Break my legs if that's not enough! Back off! <laughs> what are you doing? Is that how you apologize? Alright, fine enough. The two of you can stop acting. Look, Harry, it's your fault he's in here. Now you come here to raise a ruckus? Weren't you taught any manners? And you? Is that how you raised your kid? <sighs> it was wrong for Harry to beat up Ivory, but I've looked into the matter. Harry didn't start the fight. As parents, I don't think we should cover up our kids' mistakes. I think we should talk things out. Be reasonable. Do you think you and I can just talk as if we're on the same level? You must be kidding. Please leave. This is our fault. We'll pay the bill. You can count on that. Once again, sorry. Let's go. Thank you. I embarrassed you today. I didn't know Ivory's dad could be so mean. A lot of people saw that Ivory started the whole thing. Just go to school. Sir, yes. here's the fare. Okay. Hello, uh, Miss Lin. Look, the parent of your student has an attitude. I think it's best if the school and you, the teacher, work with me to fix things. We need to get to the bottom of this so innocent people won't get hurt. That's my duty as a teacher. Don't worry. I'm looking into this as we speak. Great. You know what's best to do. Call me if necessary. Goodbye. Hello? You're not at home and you're not at US Bar either. Is the flight department keeping you in prison? I took a leave today. I have important news. I believe you'll be interested. Come over, I'll tell you in person. I have an important appointment. Well, if you want, you can wait for me at US instead. Hi, excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, hi. Miss Lin. Um... What is it? Uh, I've come to check the library's CCTV camera. No problem. I just need authorization from the president. Uh, I need that? Checking the video requires this authorization? Yes. And apart from that, the president should sign it, otherwise we can't let you see it. Oh, uh, but the president did ask me to check. I need to see what happened in the library from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. yesterday. It concerns a student of mine. I came in a hurry, so I didn't get his signature. Did you... really tell the president? Why would I lie to you? I know. Maybe we can call him now. Uh, we can ask okay. him directly. It's okay, never mind. Uh, I believe you. It's alright. Come with me. Are you sure? I can call him it's now. It's fine, come on. Oh, <laughs> Miss Lin, please have a look. Okay, thank you.
Mr. Wu, have a seat, Thank please. You. We're very impressed with your resume. I've also written down your requirements. We'll send your profile to HQ now, so wait for our feedback. If all goes well, you'll have to go to HQ in the next few days for a pre-employment test. That's it. No problem. I'll inform you the details by email as soon as possible. Are you... okay with the time? Yes, I am. Great. Just please wait for the reply then. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you yeah. You're here. Eating already? Great timing. Pay for my meal later. You're having steak. Yeah. This makes me so mad. Remember what you did last time? Last time? Ah, oh, come on. I'll treat you to a feast next time. Sugar-coated bomb. Don't try to corrupt us. Seafood is corrupting the two of you? You must raise your standards. I just think that you shouldn't let the boys suffer. Am I right? This is suffering? You know me. I won't feed him porridge if I can offer him barbecue. If he tells me he wants steak every day, then that's it. He can leave me. Ah, uh, you want coffee? It's freshly ground. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't waste good coffee. Don't give it to him. Let him leave after he's done. Don't worry about my son. Get your own if you want one. I want to be his godfather, not become his new dad. Besides, what's wrong with having a rich dad? You want a godson? Why don't you become a husband first? How about this? From now on, everything to do with Harry's school, you leave it to me. I'll take care of it. I'm sure Olivia Lynn will be moved if she sees me pursuing her. You really like her. What's good about her? She's eccentric and acts like a madwoman. Also, she loves to show off. Actually, that's what you guys have in common. If you get married, you can both show off and see who outshines whom. Well, love is blind, and she's perfect for me anyway. So, don't worry about it. You and Wendy Fay, how are you? Nothing. After she left the house last time, that was it. In that case, <clears throat> here's a piece of gossip that might interest you. <clears throat> You'd better be calm about it. I need to remind you that I only came across it by accident. Do you know this guy? What is it? What is it? I took a picture of her and a man at Let a hotel. Let me see. What the? Jeez, what a poor image. The picture is dark. You can't tell who it is. I have a Leica. Borrow it. It takes better pictures. Who cares? The quality doesn't matter. That's her, right? So what if it's her? She found her other half. That's good. The two of you work in the same place, and you guys will often see each other. Won't that feel awkward? Yeah, won't it feel awkward? Why should it be? We're colleagues. That's all. She was too foolish to take the joke seriously in the first place. I'm glad she found her other half. I, I think I should celebrate. Yeah, I'll have a steak too. This looks pretty good. Remember to pay. Remember to pay. Put it on his tab. Hello? Hello, President O. I'm Ivory Wang's father. Ah, oh, so how is Ivory now? Is there anything the school can do for your son? He's doing quite well. Thank you for your concern. We only have one request, and I hope you'll grant it. The school must get rid of the perpetrator. I suggest you expel Harry Shao. Ah, we'll investigate first before making a decision. After all, this concerns a child's future, am I right? President Oh, we chose Walton because the school is stable and has a peaceful environment. This incident has a significant impact on Walton. I think the school shouldn't be lenient with students who show violent behavior. Oh, don't worry. We will deal with this fairly. Good. I'll wait for your reply. Stop playing. Take a break. You're hospitalized. Don't take this chance to play. Don't forget your studies. Yes, sir. You know, Dad, you don't have to ask the school to expel Harry Shao. I just wanted to get back at him, that's all. Nonsense. You two are different. Remember who you are and who that boy is. Whenever you run into him, you'll remember how he humiliated you. I won't allow my son to have such awful memories. No, Dad. 
I wasn't really humiliated. Actually, I humiliated him. What are you saying? You're too soft-hearted, son. Listen, just focus on recovering. I'll deal with this incident. How will you handle the incident? The one at the library? Ivory Wong's father just called. He insists we expel Harry Xiao. Are you going to do that? Expel him? Expulsion is taking it too far. But this incident has bad impact. Harry must apologize publicly. Ask him to write an apology letter and post it on the bulletin board. I think that is better. Even so, we wouldn't know if they'll understand. Isn't this punishing the innocent? I know exactly what happened that day. Harry was just defending himself. Nonetheless, everyone got badly hurt. If Harry behaved appropriately, there's a chance they'll forgive him. But when he went to apologize, he made things worse. I'm afraid Ivory's father won't take this sitting down. He has some influence over the PTA and the school board. And this influence is precisely why Ivory thinks he can do that. Harry wasn't at fault, and I forced him to apologize. No wonder he felt betrayed. Don't be unreasonable. As a head teacher, you should have the right mindset. It is not over. Don't get ahead of yourself. Fine then, let me ask you. Walton's school motto? Freedom? Equality? Do they still count? Will you investigate incidents based on truth and reason? We will deal with this fairly, and we will consider what to do specifically. As the president, I have better perspective. I have to weigh all the pros and cons. What's there to weigh? Ivory's dad sponsored the school library, didn't he? Spare me the official speech. How you handle Ivory's incident will be observed by everyone in the school. Your unauthorized absence has yet to be resolved, and now another issue appears. This shows that you've failed as head teacher. You should reflect on yourself. Don't get involved with this incident. As long as I'm still head teacher, I will see this through, sir. Huh? Yeah, give me a cup, please. This might be the last time. I'll enjoy good coffee. Just half a cup left. Last time? What do you mean? I may change where I work. Go to another airline. In Australia. I may live there permanently. Hang on. Weren't you looking for a job just two days ago? It's that fast? Before I came here, I actually went to Alpha Airlines Shanghai branch for an interview. They seem pretty impressed. No, wait, are you avoiding Wendy Fei? Why would I avoid her? I went to the interview before coming here, then you showed me that picture. How did this come about? Didn't you tell me that I should move on from everything? I thought hard and you're right. My senior, Leo Leo, advised me years ago to move to his airline. Now they are recruiting experienced captains like me. Hang on, you didn't agree before. What happened? What changed your mind? Yeah. Things are different now. It used to be just me. I just had to feed myself. Now Harry's here. I have to feed him. The boy eats like a horse. And his tuition fees are expensive. I need a lot of money. Alpha provides very good remuneration and high hourly pay. I just think you're getting a little hasty here. And besides, there's some problems in my current company. What's his name is giving you a hard time? No, no, he always helps me out. But because of that, he's offended a lot of people in the company. Those he offended are giving him a hard time now. He can't lose his job because of me. He called me two days ago hoping to smooth things out for me, and I'm telling you, lots of people saw that. I wanted to tell him, but I didn't get a chance. That guy is pretty thoughtful. <sighs> Once you leave, the three of us can't meet frequently anymore. Why don't you stay? You can come here, I won't mind. Sit at the door, act like a fortune cat. That'll be great. Not a fortune cat, how about a deity instead? <laughs> if there are enough prayers, I may get a donation. Cut the crap, you have to be up there to be a deity. Wait, what about the kid? Who was clamoring to be Harry's godfather so bad? We can work in shifts. Sure, I can do it. But he's your son, Jack. You have to educate him. But I'm going to change my job. How can I do that? Why don't you... leave him to me? 
You see? Give it here. Hey, didn't you take Harry to apologize? Why did Ivory's dad complain to the president? It's a long story. Why don't we meet later and uh, speak in person? All right, see you. Who's that? Olivia Lin? Uh-huh. Yeah. Now hold on a second. Did you invite her to dinner to some fancy restaurant while you leave me to deal with Harry's problems? Harry's problems are your problems too. And another thing, Phil. Where's the IOU for the money I borrowed? It's there in my living room. Good. Now, come on, take out your phone. Why? Key in a two and four zeros and send it to Jack U. Then on that IOU, add another 20,000. I asked you to add more money when you were borrowing, but you refused. Why are you adding more now? Shut up. People lending money shouldn't talk so much. Only those who borrow should. What's this? Money for the hospital bill. First, let me thank you for visiting Ivory Wang and buying a fruit basket. I bought another one. I've experienced his dad's arrogance. In fact, it wasn't necessary to apologize to him, let alone agree to pay his hospital bill. Nonetheless, I'll do what we agreed upon, Miss Lin. I've seen how much it costs. Paying the bill is my way of showing my sincerity. I'm so sorry. I did it on impulse without asking you. I didn't know that a radius fracture would require a trace element check. What about I negotiate the compensation again? Oh, please don't. Since we agreed, let's not bargain about it. More importantly, I heard this has been reported to your president. Mm -hmm. You're a teacher. This may affect your future. I'll go discuss this with your president. You seem to be a person who... Well, I guess I can trust you. As for your president, I can't say. Whether he's a nasty guy or has a bad character, it's hard to say. No, our president is a very upright person. <sighs> you really are still young. <sighs> it's kind of hard to say whether the president is nasty or has a really bad character. Trust me, you're still young. You don't understand. There's much for you to learn. Who told you there are a lot of intrigues going on in private schools? I don't know about others, but our president is good. See you right there. He's deceiving you. <sighs> you know what? Forget it. In any case, I'll work this thing out. If it doesn't pan out, I still have a trump card. Trump card, huh? Weren't you at a loss at the hospital? Shut up. I'll get it done. Don't show off. Just contact me if you need me. Fine, I will. Uh, wait a second. Here. This is yours. Don't forget the money. Huh? Why did you buy me a new pair? Isn't the old one with you? Take a good look at it again. Isn't that your old one? I broke it, and now it's repaired. You just seem tough, but you're actually kind. You've repaired it for me, yet you refuse to say something nice. Isn't it troublesome to remove such expensive lenses? Old men like you are so pretentious. Didn't you want the original pair? My precious is back. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. The money! Hello, Mr. Jung. Where are you? It's urgent. Come to the flight department now. You should get off your duty soon. Is something wrong? Yes, come on. I have to come now? I'll be there in half an hour. Have them wait a little longer. These are local specialties we brought from our village. These eggs are laid by our hens. They're delicious! You're too kind. The both of us wanted to thank Captain Wu. 
when our son got discharged from the hospital. But wait, I heard Captain Wu suspended? That's right. Why would a nice man like Captain Wu be suspended? He should be given a bonus. Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, Mrs. Lin, listen, ma'am. We totally understand your feelings, but the company has a strict flying system. An accident may occur. The weather that day was really very bad for flying. Thank goodness he landed safely. Should an accident occur, the safety of hundreds of lives is something no one can bear. Yes, our captain is right. Flight safety is important. It's hard to predict an accident. Uh, no, uh, how's the leg? Much better. Come on, thank Captain Wu. <laughs> thank you, Captain Wu. Our child is safe, all thanks to Captain Wu, or his future would have been ruined. Thank goodness the surgery was successful. The boy's growing up fast. After a few days, he can walk without crutches. Well, that's great. <laughs> hey, get well soon. And return to the field. The future of Chinese football depends on you. <laughs> With benefactors like you, he'll be able to return to the soccer field. <laughs> Good, that's great. <laughs> Wang here will help us take a group photo. Oh, sure. oh, yes, that's a great idea. Thanks. Here you go. Look this way. One, two, three. Captain Wu, thank you so much. <gasps> Captain oh, Wu, thank you. Uh, thank you thank so you. much, Mr. Zhang. He shouldn't be suspended. Hello, Mr. Han? HQ is very impressed with you. We've already booked a return ticket for you. We hope you can come for an interview at our HQ in Australia. Okay, I will. Thank you. Well done. This is great. With the silk banner, you may get back to work soon. <sighs> Discipline and relationships should be separated. I don't think a silk banner can change anything. I am going to make good use of this. Anything is possible, but we need to go by the book. Just be patient, okay? Mr. Jung? What's wrong? Why are you so hesitant? You're acting weird today. You know, Jack, in the past, you would be very proud to have a silk banner. Do you have time? Let's go have a drink. Have a drink? Yeah. Why, Jack? Just to talk about something. Sure. I'm happy to. Let's go get that drink. Come on. Cheers, Mr. Chuck. Cheers. Chuck. A toast to you. Thank you so much for not forsaking me. Huh? Why so emotional? I'm your superior at work, but we're buddies off work. Jeez, you don't have to say that. Let's have another toast. Thank you. What have you got up your sleeve today, huh? What's wrong? Just tell me. I'm thinking of quitting. Are you serious about that? Are you mad at me? Yes, I know I'm strict with you, Jack. But it's for your own good. I don't want to see you make blunders on matters like that. Why? Can't take it? You want to escape? No, 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 no. I'm not. I have no complaint against you. Honestly, I don't. Really. Because you're suspended and got replaced, you feel you're unjustly treated. That's why you want to quit so bad. Is that it? I know it's hard for an experienced pilot like you to stay at the ground, but I'm really working hard to find ways to reinstate you, right? Hey, Mr. Chung. Please don't bother. Really, I can tell something's up from the way the leaders criticized me that day. If you continue to help me out and speak on my behalf, it won't benefit you. You might get into trouble too. I think instead of compromising your job, it'll be better if I leave. Besides, you know me. I'm the king of aviation. I can fly any plane in the world. I'll be welcomed everywhere, right? Well, you're right about that. Your skills are unparalleled. But seriously, Jack, you need to change your temperament. I know. I've learned from the setback. I won't make that mistake anymore. You won't. Yeah, right. 
So, you found a new job? Do you remember Leo Liu, my senior? He's at Alpha Airlines. I heard they're recruiting pilots right now. I checked the remuneration, it's pretty good. You know my family situation. I have a kid to feed now, he's always creating trouble. Anyway, I have to earn a living, right? So I decided to try there. Now you're suspended. You lose your hourly pay. That salary won't be enough to feed your family. If that's the case, <laughs> I have no reason to stop you. But if you leave, I'll lose another brother in the trenches I have to fight by myself. Oh, stop it. Well, you shouldn't look at this so negatively. Look, without me, no one will create trouble. You can focus on your own career. Maybe you'll sail as fast as the wind and get promoted. <laughs> Is that what you think? <laughs> I really don't want you to leave. What I say today stands. If you decide not to leave, you're welcome back at any time. Thank you. If you need me. Hey, Jack. Thanks. Hey. Tony. Huh? So busy. Ah. Why are you alone? Where's your son? It's a long story. Anyway, Tony, this money is for you. What is this for? I'll travel for some time. The kid has to have meals. I'll ask him to come here. You decide as long as it's nutritious. If that's not enough, I'll pay when I get back. Oh, but this is so much money. No, no, no. Please take it. I'll be back. In five days, at most a week. During this time, if he, uh, misbehaves or makes any mistake, he's young and rebellious. Just discipline him for me. Oh my, I couldn't even teach my own child. I wouldn't be able to manage your son. You're too humble. By the way, Tony, I've never heard you mention your children before. How many do you have? Just one daughter. <sighs> my daughter isn't too focused. She wants too much of everything. She said she was working as a cosmetic sales promoter. She hasn't been here back for half a year. Who knows what she's busy about? Kids are all like that now. They only appreciate us when they encounter setbacks. Anyway, I know you're busy, so uh, I'll leave Harry to you then. Okay, don't worry about him. Take care. to uh, tell you something. Mm, you know I had an interview days ago. Alpha Airlines responded to me. I had to go to the Australian HQ. It happened so fast, so I couldn't tell you. I have to leave tomorrow. I'm quite happy. I'm about to have a job. I'll have income by then, and you won't bully me 
for not having work and always staying at home. When I get there, I can visit my friends too. I'll be back in a few days. During this time, if you want a meal, go to the home-like restaurant. I've paid them already. Just eat. You don't have to skip meals. Eat whatever you like. But not junk food. Here's another 1,000 yuan. If anything happens, spend this. If this isn't enough, call Uncle Phil. Got it? I can tell from the tone of your voice you're not happy even though you've found a new job. Could it be that you feel leaving your company now is very disloyal and dishonorable? How could it be? I just want to change my lifestyle. I really want to fly in the sky again. You won't understand. Actually, I'm happy. Someone sent me a silk banner. Our captain hung that banner on the wall right away. I'm really happy. You won't just pack up and leave and never return, will you? You told me you'd support me until I'm 18. I can't stay with you forever. You're a big boy now. In any case, Alpha Airlines has very high requirements for pilots. I may not succeed in the interview. Well, uh... Thank you for the noodles. It smells good. Your skills really improved. Don't change the subject. You hit me at the hospital today. Why didn't you remember that? I didn't hit you, okay? I was just putting on an act. I just hit your school bag. No, you hit me. I say you did, so you did. If I fail my exams, it's because of that. Concussion. Yeah, right, fine. I'm leaving tomorrow, so bear this in mind. During this time, please stay out of trouble, okay? If you have any problems, call Uncle Phil at once. Got it? Miss Lin, can we meet? When are you free? What's the matter? I'm busy. What? You scratched my car, remember? But that's not urgent. Uh, if you're busy, then I'll pick you up at school. I asked you to have it repaired. I'll reimburse you based on the cost. <laughs> Aren't you afraid I'll make false claims, Miss Lin? I trust you. Sorry. I can't chat. I'm busy today. Don't, don't hang up. Um, add me on WeChat. Uh... <sighs> I don't have WeChat. It's useless. Gotta go. Bye. <sighs> What's wrong? Why are you so sad? It's unlike you. Heartbroken? What are you doing here? I've found a good job for you. I won't do it. Are you serious? I've reminded you. Wait, wait! What's going on? Where are you going? Leaving your son again? I'm here to entrust my son. First the airline Leo Leo recommended me has contacted me. I'll go to Australia for an interview. I'll have to leave now. Very soon. I'll be away for a few days. Uh -huh. You'll be Harry's temp dad while I'm gone. Huh. Second. During these days that I'm gone, you have to communicate with Olivia Lin. It'll be a great opportunity uh -huh. Uh -huh. to be with her. You should have opened with that. She refused me just now. So I'm leaving. I'll see you off. Come on, let's go, quickly. Eat this on the way. Come on. <laughs> Stop playing. Your hand is recovered. Here. <clears throat> Finish the fruits. Dad? 
When can I return to school? What's the hurry? Just stay here like I tell you to. Aren't you worried I'd fall behind in my studies? Let me go back. When your school punishes Harry Shao, then you can return to school. So if the school doesn't do it, I won't go back? Dad, to be real honest, we were the ones in the wrong. Why don't we just... How are you in the wrong? You're the one who got hurt. Don't you trust your dad's ability? Listen, son, even your president listens to me. Don't worry. Stay calm. Just stay here until they do it. Miss Lin. Miss Lin. What are you doing here this time? Ah. The school will punish Harry Shao. Stop going about your business. Keep an eye on Harry. His fight with his schoolmate isn't over yet. The kid's parents won't forgive us. I've done most of the preliminary work. You just need to follow up. I'll say this in advance. Whether temp dad or godfather, this won't be easy. What's the parent like? Is he rich or powerful? Who knows? We've apologized and paid the bill. We were in the wrong anyway. During this time, keep close contact with the school. Should anything crop up, tell me at once. Keeping close contact with the school means I will be in close contact with Miss Lin, isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah, please inform Miss Lin I'll be away. I wasn't able to tell her. Don't worry, leave this to me. I know exactly how to inform Miss Lin. My happiness in the future depends on you. <laughs> Keep an eye on the road. I just have one request. Keep an eye on the boy. Just this once, make sure he stays out of trouble, okay? Who does this boy remind me of, huh? Who? Who? It's you. You were always in a fight. You had to prove everyone wrong. I didn't create trouble for others. Not like him. He got his kicks and left me to deal with his mess. Miss Lin, I've almost recovered. You don't have to visit me. Almost recovered? Are you having trouble doing things? No worries, miss. I can do anything I want. <laughs> If you've recovered, you should get back to school. Your finals are coming up. You should keep up with the others. There's no hurry. We don't know when he'll return to school. If this incident is not resolved satisfactorily, we won't return. Oh, yes. Harry Xiao's dad asked me to give you this. 20,000 yuan. For the hospital bill. So where is he? Why are you representing him? Given the present situation, I think it's better for you not to meet. What do you think? What would that be? Our child is hospitalized for so long. But what has he done other than cause a scene? How is it I don't feel any of his sincerity? Since they've come here and apologized, and have now shown their greatest sincerity, do you think you could... Is this what you're referring to? Just 20,000 yuan. I can't afford a week's room charges at this hospital. Listen up. We're not interested in the money. We only request the school punish Harry. In the beginning, you wanted reimbursement. Why have you gone back on your word? And you want to punish him. But Harry Xiao didn't start the fight. Besides, Ivor's wrist is much better. Why don't you drop everything? I decide when I'll stop. From the beginning, you have been partial. I think... I need to speak to your president personally. You can speak to anyone. I'm sure Ivory has already told you what had happened. Everything needs evidence. This is the school library CCTV record to protect your child. I think you'd better take a look first. Why do I feel you're not protecting my son? Did you bring this here just to threaten me? I'm the head teacher. Threatening you doesn't benefit me at all. Facts speak louder than words. Once you watch this, you'll understand. You went out of your way just to get this video. How thoughtful of you.
总是骏马和猎场，最了不起的脆弱，迷惘不过就这样。天外有天，有无常；山外有山，有他乡。跌了，撞了，心还是会老地方。有离与城市的同样，错过了心爱的姑娘。宣告世界的那个理想，已不知去向。为所欲为，是轻狂。不胜方是悲伤，后来再把成熟当偏方。当所有想的、说的、要的、爱的都记在心脏，行李箱里装不下我想去。少还有。